Hi, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to set up a Minecraft multiplayer server for Windows. This is actually going to be two parts, and in the first part I'm just going to show you how to get the, f the program, how to download it, install it on your computer, and some basic moderation commands. So, the first thing you want to do to get the program is go to Minecraft.net in your internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome here. And I'm already at the website. When you type that in, hit enter, it'll bring you to the Minecraft official homepage. Right here in the upper center of the page, you'll see a link that says download. You want to click on that link. And it'll hopefully go to the next page. And right down here, it says multiplayer alpha server software. These up here are the clients to actually play the game. And this is the server component we're looking for. And this is the one for Windows, as you can see here. Go ahead and click on minecraftserver.exe and save it to your computer. Note the location that you're going to. This is Windows 7 I'm using right now. And it's going under my Documents, Downloads folder. And note that it's saving it as an application with the .exe extension. That's very critical. Sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes with some browsers, it'll say that. That's not going to work. You have to make sure you've got the .exe. Click on Save or open, depends on your operating system, what version of Windows you're using, and go to your folder, and there it is. Now you may not have extensions showing, um, so if you don't, you may want to go up here and go to Organize, Folder and Search Options, go to View, and make sure you have right here, uncheck the box that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. If it's checked, you won't see those extensions. Notice how they just disappeared. But you can look over here and make sure that it says application. It might say program, depending on your operating system. I don't like to have those hidden. I like to see exactly what the file name is. So now what we want to do is put this server program in a folder of its own. So we'll make a new folder. I'm going to call mine MC, MC Server. Nah, I think I like MC Server better. And then I'm going to copy this guy, and you can right-click on it and cut it or copy. Or you can just drag and drop. But I'll do cut, open up my new folder, right-click, and paste. And it'll move that file. Now it's all by itself in its own precious little folder. Let's go ahead and run that file. You'll get this pop-up if you have Vista or Windows 7 in most cases. Click on Run, and here is the server program running. You'll note here in the background that suddenly I got new files. The server program creates these files dynamically when you run it for the first time. These warnings, you can ignore them. Basically, it was looking for these files, couldn't find them, so it generated them. No big deal there. You may see a pop-up from your firewall. If you do, go ahead and allow it. When you first run that, Java may have to um, get permission from your firewall, so go ahead and, and allow access. Okay, I am going to stop this, so come down here in your, this is the command um, bar down here, type in stop, and that closes the server down gracefully. Let's go take a look at some of these files. We've got band IP, band players, ops, server.log, and server properties. This is the one we want right here, server.properties. Now, if your computer doesn't recognize a properties file, it's not going to open up when you double click on it. And again, if you have extensions hidden, you're going to see two files here, server and server. The text document is the log file. The one that says properties file is the one we want. So you want to double click on that. If your computer doesn't recognize properties file yet, you may see a little pop up that says, hey, how do you want to open this? You're going to choose you want to choose the option that says select a program and then you want to choose notepad. It's basically just a text file. Let's get in here and make some modifications. As you notice here in the folder, the Minecraft server created this new world. That's the world file that everyone's going to be playing on. Now we can customize that name. I'm going to call mine test world. Now look, let's take a look at some of these other options here. We've got uh, hell world and that is the nether world. We're going to have that false right now. It doesn't work properly. Keep it false. Spawn monsters equals true. 
that means we're going to get monsters in our game. You can change that to false, and you won't get monsters. Online mode equals true. You need to. You should leave that alone. Spawn animals equals true. If you want pigs, cows, chickens in your game, set that to true. Max number of players. Leave that at the default. Server IP should be blank. PvP is player versus player equals true. If you want players to be able to hurt each other, keep that as true. I'm going to make it false. We like to have a friendly game here in my house. Click on save if you make any modifications. Or just close a file and it will ask you if you want to save. Another file here that's fairly important is ops, ops.txt. Or it might just say ops. Again, if you don't have those extensions showing. Open that up. And you want to type in your Minecraft user ID. It has to match the one that you use when you log in with the, with the game launcher. I'm making myself an operator here. Basically, I'm an administrator. I can do anything on the server. I can kick people, ban people, make other people ops, etc. So go ahead and add your name there on one line. Close the file and save it. Okay, let's get back to our server and run it. You can do anything from this panel here, from this console, you're automatically an op if you're sitting at this computer and you're running these commands. So let's say I have a friend and his name is Joe Bob. I can make Joe Bob an op by doing op Joe Bob. Oping Joe Bob. If I open up my ops file, Joe Bob is now an op. It has to be his Minecraft name. Let's take a look at all the commands. If you come down here and type in a question mark and hit enter, you see all the commands you have with a short description. You can kick a player, ban a player, and where you see player here, you would put in their name. Let's say Bob, Joe Bob makes me mad. I can say, you know what? Kick you, Joe Bob. And then Joe Bob gets kicked from the game. He's not currently in the game right now, so he doesn't get a good kick right now. But if he makes me angry, I'll kick him. If he really makes me angry, I can ban Joe Bob. But he's my buddy, so I wouldn't do that. Unless he burns down my house. All right, so you can ban an IP, you can part an IP. Here's a short description. I don't need to go through all those, but the important ones are op a player, and then you can de op a player. You can give stuff too. Give Joe Bob, and then the ID number of the item, and then the quantity you want to give him. This is a, a private message, tell player message stop shuts off the server. It saves automatically. You don't really need to do that unless you want to explicitly save for some reason. Um, say is a broadcast to everybody. So there you have it. Those are the commands. Um, and when you shut it off, you really should do stop. Actually, I want to do show you guys a test. I'm going to connect to the server. How could I forget that part? The most important. Log in with your Minecraft launcher. So go ahead and click on multiplayer and we're going to type in localhost and that will connect us to our local server running on this computer. And there we go. We're now inside our multiplayer server running on this computer. Now normally if you're connecting to a server somewhere out on the internet you won't type in localhost. You'll actually type in an IP address or a friendly web address to connect to that server. And I'm going to show you how that works in part two of this video. But for now, I'm just going to end this video here, and I will get working on that next part very soon. So, just going to disconnect here. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.